This video is going to demonstrate just how easy it is to transfer files to your server from your computer and from your server back down to your computer. First we're going to open up FileZilla and connect to the server. And we can connect to our server either through the quick connect bar or through our site manager that we can access through the file menu button. Go to site manager and if you've already got some set up in here just select the one that you want to connect to and then click on connect. Now when you've successfully connected, and you'll know that because you'll see stuff over here and it'll say so right here, you're going to see your computer, that's the local site on the left hand side, and your server or the remote site on the right hand side. Now on your server, you are by default opening to the root of your server, not the root of your website. That is of course if you have a website yet. And you can tell that you're in the root because you got this forward slash right there. Now most web hosting companies tell you which directory you should upload your site files to and you get that information in that initial email that includes your login stuff whenever you first purchase that web hosting service. Now in this case, it's the public underscore HTML directory. And if we scroll down just a bit here, you can see it's right here. You can also see this if we hit the plus button there to expand these. And these question marks, by the way, tell you that these directories have not been opened up yet in this particular session. And there we are. And just click on that and it opens up all the files that we have in our public underscore HTML. And if you're just starting out, then you probably don't have anything in here except for the file icon up here and a couple of dots off to the right of it. But as you can see, I've already got a few files and folders in here. Now, sometimes it's not the public underscore HTML directory. Maybe on your web service, it's the HTML doc directory or even the www. But if you're not sure and cannot locate that info on that email that, that you got originally, then just contact your web hosting service and find out. Now that we've got all that figured out, let's go ahead and start transferring some files. And as far as the process, it's pretty simple. I mean, you got a couple of different ways you can do it. For example, if I want to transfer you can see that they are in alphabetical order for the most part. But if I want to transfer this filezilla.xml file over to the server here, and that'll be in the public underscore HTML directory, then I can just right click on it. And in this drop down list here, I just left click on the upload. And you can see the process as it takes place. And here it is right here. Let me go ahead and delete that. Right click, left click on delete. Are you sure? Yes. Another way you can upload this or transfer this file, you just left click, hold, and drag this on over here, and then let go. Same thing, easy as pie. And you can do the same thing, not just with individual files, but with an entire folder, or even with multiple folders or files. For example, if I select this one, hold the shift key down on my keyboard, and then select this guy here, it's going to transfer this single file as well as these three directories and all the files contained in there. Now if there are duplicate files or directories already on the server, then I'm going to get a pop-up box here asking if I want to overwrite those particular files or give me other instructions as to what I want to do with that particular conflict. And in addition to transferring from your computer to your server, you can do the exact same thing from your server to your computer. Just make sure that you are in the proper directory on your computer as to where you want the file to go. For example, if I want to make room and just get rid of this guy here, just delete it. And just as I did from the computer to the server, I just select the file I want to download from the server to the computer, right click, left click on download, or left click hold and drag it on over. And there it is. And to demonstrate that error message I was talking about, if we just left click hold and drag it on over, this is the box that pops up and gives us actions that it wants us to do. Whether we want to resume, rename, skip it, overwrite it if it's different. And we can also check this box here if we want it to always do this particular action that we're going to describe here. And you can see the other information here as well, depicting both the file on the server and the file that it's going to be interacting with on the computer or the local site. We'll go ahead and cancel that out. Now, in addition to transferring files from the left pane or the local site here, you can also do it from your Windows Explorer. Let me demonstrate. And here is my Windows Explorer. This is the desktop here. 
and if I want to just drag this folder into the server same exact thing and by the way when I say folder directory I use those terms interchangeably so for me they both mean the same thing I just find it difficult to say one and not the other and let me see that was site name one or two there we are right there open that up and you can see and by the way I just double clicked on that to open it up but as you can see it transferred not just that directory but all the contents as well and you can also right click and left click on enter directory and it'll open it up but I find it just as easy just to double click on the directory to open it up and that is how you can transfer files both to your server from your computer and to your computer from your server thanks for watching and you have a great day